students life every students uh, should have to earn money but not a lot of uh, money and uh, here if anyone try to earn a lot of money then he have to think about uh, the about the source of income uh, especially the, the uh, here in our country all of these students they want to earn money by doing tuition so it's not sustainable uh, i think you also know that uh, it's not a sustainable earning source if anyone try to earn money by doing different types of internship by doing different types of part time job at that time maybe it's uh, sustainable because uh, in this case he can earn money and at the same time we can also uh, gain some experience a real world experience which can help him uh, uh, in future life so this, this is the thing i think uh, uh, okay here I, i have some of my friends uh, they actually try to do different types of business in the in his uh, student life and uh, i see that uh, they earn a huge amount of money suppose some, uh, sometimes uh, in a month uh, they earn 60k 70k also <laughs> so and i i i think uh, that it's great because uh, after completing i think a graduation or after completing his uh, uh, academic life he can easily involve with this job yes, and as he has a, uh, he has a uh, huge amount of experience so he can within a short time he also gain success yes. tuition and business is uh, uh, different different topic yes. okay you know tuition is not a long term uh, process yes uh, but business why no uh, try to uh, establish establish a business that time if uh, this business grow that time maybe it will help you in your future life okay so it is uh, sustainable yes sir. but tuition it is not sustainable it is not sustainable after a certain time uh, then you can understand that okay you all of your um, hard work all of your dedication go in vain uh, you can only earn you could only earn a little amount of money but no experience and uh, uh not any long term thing so uh so actually the final thing is uh you ha- you can earn a small amount of money or lot of amount of money but you have to think whether it sustainable or, or not i also think that uh, the in educational institutions they should provide this type of things uh, uh, especially you know that uh, here in our bangladesh people they have different types of knowledge but they don't know about uh, how to manage money for this reason they have to suffer a lot uh especially we see different types of artists uh, in their whole life they earn huge amount of money but at the end of the day at the uh, end of uh, his life whenever he uh, suffer from different types of disease at that time he try he had to uh, beg uh, with uh, our prime minister so there yeah, is uh, some other persons for their uh, for uh, a small amount of money yes. and he, our education our educational institution at uh, take this responsibility of uh, uh, actually how to manage money and such type of things then i think it will be better and uh, uh, i think that uh, educational institutions uh, should adopt this as a course yes so in terms of uh, artists for artists i think uh, sometimes when they have a lot of money maybe you know nobel man yeah <laughs> and he has a lot of fame once upon a time okay so he gain a lot of money that time but uh, when you have a lot of money that times maybe you will uh, go to uh, addiction and yeah, such type of thing for for that maybe in their uh, old age they suffer or lack of money if they have some uh, knowledge about how to how to manage money or how to invest it in different type of stock or in different types of uh, um, uh, alternative investment and that time maybe missing better yeah of form So why do you have a lot of money that times you need to invest a lot of place that yes. time maybe in future it will help you